Thank you very much. Cheers. All the best. Right then, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We are near the Salisbury Plate. We are near Boston Down, Britain Area 51. Developing sea aircraft and also developing nasty germs like Flavrin Victoria. Yeah, but we won't talk about that. Hmm. Because they develop them and then send them all over the bloody planet. Now I've got to close the gate now. Back in a second. So here we are at Boscombe Down. This is affectionately known as Britain's Area 51 as it's involved in the development of top secret aircraft. Some of which um, are not even probably known about in service today working with the Americans. Some of the people that watch the aircraft hang around in that car park and as you can see that car park doesn't have a very good view of the base and uh, rather sadly they hang around there just watching the aircraft take off from the runway but if you come over the base itself here and you have a look as you uh, come across the countryside and you have a look at the big old hangars there where they do work on uh, various British military aircraft helicopters and other such stuff um, the view that I want to get which I think is much better is up on these hills and it overlooks the base so you can actually see the runway and you can see the landing and taking off now I've been using this place to, to aircraft spot myself for the last 20 years and it has always been easy to access but I'm guessing, as you can see by this little uh, marker I put on there, that they will shut this down now that my video has got up on the internet. So I'm probably going to find it a little bit hard to get up there from now on. But hey-ho, um, you can't have it forever. We shall see. If you don't mind walking up there from the road, it'll probably be uh, still accessible. But uh, yeah, as you can see, you've got a nice view over the base. And if you were to zoom yourself out you will see that not only have we got the runways, but just off to the left end of the runway, we've got one of the most top secret and dangerous facilities in the world called Port and Down, where they develop all the nasty stuff. Hmm. Right, this little uh, trackway is um, a sneaky one. It's very hard to find. And uh, it's right off the 303. When you get up here, it backs you onto the radio transmitters, so it's probably used for uh, servicing those. But uh, it's a great place to spot what's going on at Bosley Down, because if you if you go up near the fence line at Bosley Down, everything's flat, so you can't see anything on the runway really. But if you come up here, you're looking down from on top, down into the airbase. With the zoom lens, you can see a hell of a lot more. So this, for me, has always been the best place, bar none, to get a view of everything going on with landings and takeoffs and circuits and fast jets. This is the place. But slightly off in the distance behind Moscow, you have another interesting place called Port Down. Port Down is quite, quite the mystery because that's where they develop all the uh, nasty chemical and biological um, weapons and say that they're doing it to try and help us defend against them. Yes, of course, we, we, we trust you. We know you wouldn't, you wouldn't abuse powers like that, would you? No. Porton lifts its veil of secrecy, or to be more accurate, draws aside its defense curtain just enough to give us a glimpse of its activities. 
has maintained such a tight security screen, it's acquired the reputation of some monstrous Frankenstein. Government sponsored, its staff tasked with cutting edge research, more than £600 million capabilities, including counter terrorism and cyber security. Um, probably one of the biggest capabilities in terms of handling dangerous pathogens in the United Kingdom. Uh, when it's aerosolised, um, how it behaves, for example, when it deposits on surfaces. Livestock. But the filming of experiments involving animals is against the law. To reveal the true extent of germ warfare tests carried out in the southwest. An independent inquiry has already been ordered into the Dorset trials to determine whether or not they've affected people's health. The germ warfare trials carried out in the 1960s and 70s were highly secret. This previously unreleased film of the experiments as they happened. They were far more widespread than was previously thought, taking in parts of Somerset and much of Devon. Where the germs were blown to can be seen from the sampling points that were set up. Some of the most deadly pathogens in the world are housed here. In this lab, they are working with live Ebola samples. But natural pathogens aren't the only lethal substances at Port and Dan. Concerns have been raised that the tests may have harmed people's health. When the former Russian agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter were poisoned, it was DSTL scientists that identified the nerve agent Novichok. Science that can help defend the nation. Anthrax uh, and the virus that causes COVID-19. These men were young soldiers in the 1950s. Now they thought they were volunteering for research into the common cold. The pain down the, down the side of the neck was, was absolutely excruciating. You felt that all hell had broken loose. You were vomiting, your eyes and nose were running. To handle those safely and to make sure that the environment is protected from those uh, pathogens. Five other sites running through Somerset down to the sea off Dorset. They were pulling my tongue out with some wooden tweezers. Other trials tested how the germs would survive in different conditions in different areas. You think, God, are we going to get over this like? It made me unconscious instantly. I'm, I mean, I don't remember anything. But... To handle those safely and to make sure that the environment is protected from those uh, pathogens. We know chemical agents are designed to hurt people and to kill people. Basically, the requirement is for parties of 12 male volunteers who are physically fit to come to Porton for a fortnight. Porton has got word of the LSD experiments in psychiatric hospitals. 20% of the research is still top secret. The Nuremberg Code states very clearly that all volunteers should be told from the beginning exactly what the tests will be, what the possible health risks could be, and that volunteers should be recruited without deceit or coercion. But the experience of many former Port and Down volunteers is that the Port and scientists ignored the code. But even though they gassed villages and unsuspecting people, they're much nicer now. Yeah. Hmm. And of course, what can you see? Boscombe Down. And behind it, and that's why we want to probably go up there, we get a better view of um, Porton Down, which is in the distance. So you can see there, let me just show you. Beep, 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 beep. Can you see? Boscombe Down, the runways. Now you can't see a bloody thing when you're down there you see all from one end of the runway nearly all of the runways and then you've got the long runway which uh, which goes all the way along there that's the long one a bit squeaking doesn't want to move bastard she goes all the way down there big hanger Boeing service uh, helicopters and all sorts of stuff here. It's massive. I mean, the whole um, Boscombe area. I mean, it's massive. Uh, oh God, I can't turn anymore. My neck's cracking. But yeah, it's a, it's a huge airfield and it's um, one of Britain's most secret secret air bases, really. And they test it very close to the main road because. Nobody knows what they're looking at most of the time. And you can't stop on the main road, as you can see down there. Main road blasts past and there's not really a good view. So this is, whoops, this is the super, super, the view. You could park on the main road. Sometimes the, the gate is locked. You can park on the main road, walk up. It's not far, two minute walk from there. But you get this 
mind-blowing whoops mind-blowing view and uh, with the right lenses and we're gonna play around with that in a minute that's you know, 15 times zoom you know but the, the thing is all your uh, aircraft twitches they hang around whoops they hang around at that end of the runway and over there that's the control tower can you see the control tower radar radar up there it's a bit hard to see there it is now if you want to get to port and down you come up the side of the runway and you you see this radar it's actually an entrance way for you to come into the base from the back side and uh, then you take a right hand right hand turn and so you're coming down I'll tell you what let me just go like this so you're coming down the side of the runway and then you go right hand so you go right so you come in eh, 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 you take a right hand and if you keep going along there eventually you're going to come to port and down it's sort of somewhere eh, eh, eh. so let's see if we can see any of it can we see port and so it's to the left of that it's, it's huge when you see it you definitely know it's like a little mini mini town port and down is so there's the tower look that's the actual that's the control tower Oh, 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 oh. Let's see if I can zoom in. Mm -hmm. Go on. You don't want to stay on it, does it? Bastard. Oh, it's just car vibrations. Let me stop the engine. There we go. Will that be nicer now? Yeah. Just try not to move it. Okay. There it is. I think that's the room, um, the tower. So again, nothing behind it, but you're going across the countryside, across the countryside, across the countryside, and suddenly you start to get a lot of buildings in the distance. That's still not it. That's still you're still on the airbase here. These are hangars, and these are the other runways. Now it could be Port and Village, Port and Village, but then you come to this colossal, and you can't really see it from here. I don't think you can see it because it's actually oops let's zoom back because it's actually a little bit behind here so let's see whether we can drive up this drive up this hill to the left of us it's chalky so we've got half a chance at not skidding out and we can always roll back if we pop up. just hope the farmer don't come up and go what are you, what are you? well I don't exactly know whose land this is but um, the thing is there's various ways to get to it and the fences are minimal so the concept of trespass here is a bit of a joke really but um, yeah as long as it's not been raining you can drive up and get up right next to the trig point the first thing that strikes you is the airbase so you're often uh, transfixed by that so you don't really know what you're looking at you've got a big airbase there so you're coming along the 303 and you come down a hill and it's like boosh airbase runways and you don't really know where port and down is but it's back there the ridgeway and then it starts to become the base come on it's, just, it's my phone folks so uh and then it becomes the base and as you can see it just starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger it's like a factory and bigger and then we've got test areas up there as well in front of it and behind it okay and that's not all of it oh yeah it keeps going just when you think it stopped no 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 more more I can't move the bloody camera now more 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 and I think that's about it I think that's the end of it now, we're told that there's huge underground stuff under here because uh, they can't risk having these viruses stored in bunkers on the surface because literally all life on the planet, well, maybe us, we would die very quickly if we were exposed to this stuff. But I mean, look how big that place is. Very few people have ever been in there. Very high security clearance because of what they're handling. And as we've seen, you know, things leak out of labs, you know, 
and they don't just affect a few people. They carry on and carry on and carry on. Cascade effect, so not good. So I'm going to set up some of my cameras now, and we're going to have a little closer look because there's only so much zooming you can do with this puppy. So you can get in. Let me zoom it right in. Go on. That's it. 15 times. So one of the main buildings there. You see these like pyramidal structures and things in the background. They've been building a lot of new bunkers. <coughs> so let's go and have a look at what we can see. Oh yeah, and by the way, we are we are right next to the Ordnance Survey trick point. And we got Doggy in the car as well. Come on him. Hey, Piglet. What is it? Hello. You can come out for a minute. Hello Stinks, what are you doing? Stinks. Come on tweet. Oh, tweet. Tweety for stinks. Tweety for stinky time. Shy and I listen to that. Here it comes. She'll start dribbling now. Started dribbling time. Ready? Oh, dribble time. Nom, nom. Right, what's in these nice boxes then? And look at these. Proper broadcast sluttery. And oh, it gets better. Oh, it gets better. Oh, we've got we've got modern 4K cameras dropped onto professional broadcast lenses. Oh, oh, and that right. a lot nice and tight and 4k 4k panasonic gh4 10 bit color 422 so what do you think of that So we've tested looking at the base. Um, this one has slightly more zoom because it has an even smaller sensor.
So this is where I thought it's time to get a little bit closer and show you the surrounding areas up to the fence line of the base. So I thought I'd take a little drive around and see what we could see. So let's uh, now get in the car down the 303, take a little cross country route and see what we can see on the back of Port and Down. I would have thought not a lot considering it's such a secret base, but prepare to be surprised. Now I have to get across onto the other side of the road and uh, duck across the other lanes of oncoming traffic. Fun, huh? So I'm going to hold back so we can get a run at it. Don't go too close. And here we go.
fence this year to stop you coming in on this public road so they can close the public road if they want to. Where they're building all the new, the new sh shiz over there. <laughs> so I'm gonna, go and, I'm gonna stop and go and have a look. They're building new bunkers and stuff up here. It's quite, it's quite interesting, but I don't think you're really meant to go up here unless you've got a reason to. But hmm. no, no access to receptions except for. Public Health England and Port and Science Park. I'll probably have the MOD police to be out now. Look at those bunkers up there. That's some proper bunker action, that is. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Of course, you wouldn't get much further than this, but that is. That is bunkers. Right, so there's a guard shack looking like a house. Right up here, you've got bunkers, and there's a lot of them, and some of them are quite new. Uh, as you can see over there, there's new, a lot of new stuff. So it looks like chemi chemical stores and things. Whee, look, look. You'd be having a, having a. Oh my god! Why are they taking photos? Look at all the chemicals and stuff that are probably stored in the ground there. That is, some, that is some shit up there, folks. Oh, yes. What is all that? What is all that massive? This is new stuff. There's a lot of cameras there and poles and all sorts of stuff. Well, we might be able to go for a walk with a dog up on the hill up there. You see the main road. Uh, goes up there so we can duck off to the left and up by these trees and probably have a look down on the whole site should be kind of funky what is all that though as I say this is a lot of this I believe it is new yeah, yeah. Be like, oh my god why are you taking photos and what's this thing up the front then is this like a processing plant or Pumping station. Seems to have a lot of vents there, but it looks like a bunker to me. Lots of cameras. Right then, let us turn around. Right then, let's go and have a little look. Looks like we're not going to go up that road. We're getting quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of trouble, no doubt. But Matt Williams's raw registration just came up. Yeah. Oh, who does he think he is? It's a flag, flagpole there, look. What's all that about? Flagpole. I want to go and drive up to the um, gatehouse. I just I just think it's uh, something that you, you need to do at least once in your life. Mmm. Oh, look at this. It goes on forever. They don't, they don't stop you. Oh, my God. Wow. How can we drive up here? I don't understand how we can drive up here. Ooh, little cameras on poles. Wow. Oh, look at these bunkers, folks. Look at all this. Wow. This is where you get the best photography, for sure. Wow, I've got to, have a, I've got to take some photos of this. Look at this! That is some good shit there. Some proper bunkerage. Wow. And look at all this stuff behind it. All these little... Uh, Sheds. 
we're heading back up on the road, so let's uh, oh, see what happens. I don't know whether this is a road to the back of the base or not, to be honest. Yeah. Does look like the back of the base. It says 20 miles an hour. Wow. Oh, we're recording this. Look at this. Look at all the bunkers. There's more. Oh, fence lines. That looks like a checkpoint. Oh, DSTL. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, oh. Not many people get as far as this. There's a little shed there. I don't think we're meant to really meant to be here. How have I got this close then? That's a bit bizarre, isn't it? How do I get this close? What's that up there? What is that? That is bizarre. It's like camouflage. Weird. Somebody's bound to come out in a minute. Look at the car park up here. Look how big the car park is. It's probably one of many car parks. Wow. Look at these buildings. What the size of that? It's like a, it's, 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 it's like a cross between a factory and uh, a testing facility. Look at all these bunkers, yeah. And off into the distance. How many people have ever seen this? Not a lot. Yeah. And look, there's little weird buildings up in the distance. So I'll walk around them later. They they throw chemicals on the land up here and, and see whether they spread around. Hmm. I think if we go any further, he's gonna be he's gonna be in a whole world of uh, pain. Hmm. <laughs> right then, let's do something daft, like drive up, turn around, change my mind. Is there gonna be a bloke in the shed there? No access to receptions for DSTL port down or PHE port down or PSE. But it says DSTL port and down, conditions of entry, but no access to receptions for. So what is it then? Workers? I can't resist. Is there somebody there in that in that shed? It's gotta be, like it says, security hut. Look at this. That is a bit old school, that, isn't it? That's very old school. Stop here and wait for security. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go now. <laughs> just, I just came to take some photos. I'm going now. It's like it's not like Area 51, is it? Bloke in the shed with his coffee and a high vis. That's it. I hope I hope that's not representative of the uh, the whole security for the site. Be like. Oi, stop stealing our viruses! Come back here, you pesky kids! If I was younger, I'd, I'd chase you, you bastards! Mm. Ah. Well, well, well. I never thought you'd be able to get as close as this. That is mental. Apparently there's loads of underground stuff. Now, the other entrance to the slightly dodgier place is up, up there. So through those trees, there's a, another driveway. Ah. But uh, they are watching. Let's see if the camera follows me now. All right? Tip on the pole, camera, and see if he follows me. Come on. You come now. See if he turns. Come on. Turn, you bastard. Turn. It's broken, it just doesn't turn anymore. Ah. Well, there you go. Now, Nick Redfern wanted me to take photos of the uh, the sign 
and uh, I lost my old one so might as well go and take a new photo of the signs yeah It'd be rude not to wouldn't it let's go back to the other entrance which is historically where I think a lot of people <coughs> get stopped more it says the campus employers ask you to drive carefully when leaving Port and Down yes drive carefully and make sure you clean your your shoes carrying viruses out of the place Mm. Mm. This is a road, but this road is kind of like a bit of a private MOD road. Mm. Okay. And they can close it. That's why I was saying down here there are gates that they can close off. And what I'm going to do now in a second is I'm going to take take some footage of the sign because that's what we want really so let's be good and slow down like they're asking us to mm. there we are they don't like you stopping yet even though you're miles away from everywhere they don't like it right, i'll take some take some uh photographs and uh yeah. He goes, you can't take photos. And I said, all right. Because I'm not, I'm not on the base. And he goes, yeah, but you can't. Look, there's a sign there that says you can't. I said, yeah, but if you're not in the base, it's not really, don't really mean anything, is it? And he's like, oh, I'm police. You can't, mate. I'm like, well, I have. I said to him, I said, I have. I'm sorry. Just come and see what all the fuss is about, isn't it? Come and see uh, Britain's Area 51 and be cheeky and drive up their driveway. They totally and utterly could uh, stop me now. And they, he's probably radioing ahead, he's probably driving slow, making a phone call, but we're not going to be hanging around too long, boys and girls, so don't worry, it's alright. Whoa, look at that all this, all this stuff. Wow, I didn't know you could get all the way in here. What's all this up? Public, Public Health England, UK Health Security Agency. Mm. I think he's uh, having a good old shout, Viola. Security vehicle check. So I come down here, take a right and right, I can get back out before they come. He's, he's, a, he's a bad man, get him. That's left into the, uh, the main thing. <laughs> they don't like this, probably. Ooh. And that's that weird camouflage building. Can we still keep going? How can we can just keep going? He did slow down. I thought he must have been slowed down. Next to a uh, next to a checkpoint, but no, we like driving in here. Response level is heightened. It said on the sign. Then, do you see that? Wow. One way. DSTL visitors car park. How are we driving it? I've never been this far in before. This is mental. How can you just drive all the way in? You never used to be able to do this. They used to go mental on you before. Ooh, is this important housing? Disabled parking. What the hell? Crossley House training facility. Let's go down here then. It'd be like there's a bloke with a camera. Get him. <laughs> Getting the guided tour. I was going to walk around all this. Why bother walking around when you can just drive your car around? What's this? Car Park G, Crossley House North Way. Hmm. Go up there in a minute now. I, th I think they've just basically um, centralised some of the most dangerous bits. And some of the stuff around the edges, they are like... Can't be arsed. They let you come in. They just let you drive around. See, 
I've been such a naughty boy. Oh, it's a bridge. <laughs> What's all this, like mustard gas factories, is it? What's this? Dead slow. Concealed entrance beyond bridge. Campus employees. How can we... DSTL, HP... Uh, how the hell? Authorised access only, it says. How the hell am I just driving in here, folks? Somebody has got to come along here and go, what the hell are you doing? You can't just come in here, surely. This looks like houses. This looks like houses. Have I come out to the base? Have I come out to the base? This is like a back entrance way to the base. I think so. I'm going to try and get back in there. And let's go to that Crossley place and, and take some more roads. Because I, I think we're uh, we're on a winner there. Huh. What the hell? Only on the secret vault, folks. Only on the secret vault. Oh, it's got a red sign. And he's like, red sign, you can't come in. And I'm like, I'm gonna come in. I wonder what'll happen if I go through a red sign and be like, no, you can't come in here. <laughs> DSTL and HPS staff access only in muster. Look, it's like, no, I'm gonna go through it. It's like, you can't come in, access only. It's like, no. <laughs> Authorized staff only. Look. Build your own virus factory equipment. Yeah. Cameras there, ANPR cameras we passed, two of them. Hey, <laughs> this place is big as well, folks. Look, there's some sort of, uh, some sort of like double fenced, double fenced thing up there. That's got to have some chemicals and nasties in it up the top of the hill. I bet you, I bet you, that is. Serious. Wow. It's just nuts in it how you can just wander through here. Whew. That could be a bunker. But if it's got two fences, two perimeter fences, that's like what they do with nuclear stuff. You know, so it's probably quite on the edge of uh, <laughs> dodgy dodge. You, uh, you wouldn't want to be up there if something got out not be good. Hello. This is Crossley House, it says. So maybe because a lot of this stuff is used for training and, you know, they haven't got live active viruses here, you know, they've kind of, maybe they've opened it up a bit more so the public can just take a, take a good old drive in. Wow. We are Crossley House Training Facility. Yeah, that would make sense. That makes a bit more sense if it's training. So there's a pathway down there. Oh, it's, it's, it, this is the way it says. So we haven't come to the training facility yet. This is still down here. Ooh. I'm just expecting secret spikes to come up out of the road and take my uh, take my tires out. You know. <laughs> Mate, you can't take photos. But it's a public road. Yeah, but it's a sign, even though it's a public road and everyone drives through here every day. You can't. Oh, the BBC do. I know, but they had permission. No, they don't. They turn up to piss you off and you go, you can't, who are you? And they go, BBC, and you go, oh, oh, all right then. Because I don't want to embarrass myself on a, on a camera. It's like houses up here. There are houses on the base. Hmm. It's a one-way system, but there are houses surrounding this. What does it say? DSL Crossley House Training Facility. Is that supposed to be very old school? It's quite run down. Might be abandoned. <laughs> Whoa, dog. That's a good fart to smell at. Fair play. That's proper. That's a proper... Why haven't you gone and done your business? Why are you hanging on to that? I just get the feeling you could just get out, walk around with a dog, and because there's houses 
is here on site. Nobody's really going to know any different. Just get the feeling that you blend in. Because, like, look at these houses. They're on this site. North Way. And it might be people who work at the base. It might be people... You know, that's why they've got to have this open. They have to have this open. A lot of these are empty. They're all... A lot of the houses are empty. They appear to be empty. They don't seem to be... Oh, look. There don't appear to be much going on in a lot of these houses. So I would say this has got to be military, folks. This has got to be military. Look at them. Look at that. Empty, empty, empty. 36, empty. 37, empty. They're all empty. They're all empty houses. Folks, this is very strange, isn't it? Right? Why would you have all these houses up here and not have anyone look? They're all empty. They're all empty, apart from a few. There's a few cars here, but most of these are empty. They probably don't want outsiders up here. It's going to be people who work on the base. Have a right to kind of have cheap housing or something, but a lot of this is empty. Who'd have thought they'd have had like housing up here like this? Yeah, one is uh, empty, empty, empty. Yeah, sorry, my camera turned off for a few seconds. It has a habit of uh, only filming for 10 minutes. So we turned around at the end of those houses and we found a lane behind them. This is where we go. Houses, which are empty, backing onto the base. Look at this, movement sensors, special type of movement alarms. What the hell? I've never even seen stuff like this. And look, most of these houses are all empty and we're just driving driving around the backs of them and there's got to be for people who work here. This is like out of Berlin. This is like Berlin, folks. How are we meant, how are we meant to, how do we get in here? <laughs> how did we get into this? This is mental. I'm... Miles shat himself when he came up to the, uh, just the, 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 the road that said, this is Borton Down, and he was like, eh, 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 and there's, look me, you know, driving around, reversing even, not even looking in my mirror, just reversing, and hoping I hit somebody. These are all empty. You can see they're just, they're just empty. I think there's this little side alley here, I can just pop out. How many empty houses and people need places to live and, you know, at a gate, yeah. <laughs> I never thought I would be doing this today. I never ever thought I'd be this close. I was gonna go around the base for a look. I never thought I'd be coming in. I'm getting a oh, whiff of my dog's farts. I never thought I'd be having that much of a whiff of my dog's farts. That's just amazing. Be really funny now if the police went past and we come out of this little side alley. <laughs> be classic. Right, empty. They're empty. They're, they're all empty. See what I mean? Empty. All empty. They're just not kept, you know. There's a couple of, you know, in, in use. There's a few, so you can see the cars look just one car, two cars. Time at the moment is rah, quarter to six, so some of them may still be in work. But I think overall, you can see there's only a couple of cars in this street. It's like a whole housing estate, ghost town. Oh, they're empty. That one on the left's empty. One next, 14's empty. Uh, 13's empty. 12, maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's got blinds in there. 12, 11, 10, empty, empty. You can just see there's nothing on the shelves. Uh, that one's probably got somebody in it. And this one's got got uh, flowers, somebody's in that. Behind it, look, there's the, fact there's the factories, there's the, uh, there it is. And there's the cameras, and that's the no man's alley where you, where you look at generators, emergency generators. Wow. And use the road. Well, all I can say, folks, eat your heart out, because this is mad. This is mad. 
I just don't know how you could, you get to sort of just drive into these places. Like drove right up to the security thing, and he was he was having his coffee, and he didn't even bother to come out and check us out. But you can't you can't go in here. Look, it's locked. Reminds me a little bit of some of the back lanes in Corsham. <gasps> Look, maybe at certain times of the day you can get in here. Look, there's a bloody um, keypad. A keypad with a... To get in. If you work here, you can... Ooh, there's a camera! Hello, camera. Watching us. Watching you. There you go, folks. That's how you get into Port and Down. I'm sure lots of you are going to say, ah, yeah, that's the back end or something, and you're going to say, no, oh, it's nothing there. It's rah, 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 rah. But I've never ever seen anything. There's massive buildings up there. Look in the distance. Look, they're like factories. Look, that's tall buildings. I've never seen anyone showing footage of this place like this. Albeit. You know, water towers up there. And there's, there's vehicles, you know, parked next to these buildings. They're not uh, redundant. Look at these generators here. Yeah. Emergency uh, generators. Those are big, right? That's not your normal size generator. That is the size of, you know, two artic articulated lorries on top of each other. That's a height. Yep, see look, only two car only two cars in here. Look, see? It's like an abandoned abandoned uh, council estate. With amenities, with things laid on, even though there's no kids probably here. Wow. I'm just uh So back way under the base, but I can see it's uh, locked. So there's no point going up there really. Let's just uh, keep going and keep uh, keep logging. Keep logging what we're seeing. Oops, a daisy. Oops, a daisy. Oops, a daisy. Nope. Wasn't locked. Hammer was locked on. Right. Voyage. Voyage into the unknown, folks. No, I thought you stopped recording, it's alright. Voyage into the unknown. The STL, uh, port down, conditions of entry, it says. Right. All persons, blah, 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 blah. Right. We go up here. That's straight ahead. You can't uh, you can't get out. But this is like park your car, gravel car parks. How cheesy is that? Right. Oh, DSTL reception. Look, that's their reception over there. So we have to we have to go now. Oh look 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 look. Security. Just go up here now. Put him. Just go up here now. Put him. Hello. Hello. Yeah, he's probably like. He's probably not even looking at us properly. He's just sitting there, but he doesn't uh, register everybody because his brain is probably fried from seeing so many people every day. So he probably isn't isn't quite connecting what we're doing here and the fact that we're driving around filming. It's probably not. Ooh, now that building looks familiar. That old building over there, I have seen that, um, that looks like a 1970s, uh, what's this there? Building A, BAE Systems. BAE Systems. What was it? Clarity Biosolutions, Immunotech, Plowshare, Smith Detection, BBI Solutions, Fluorogenics, 
MIA Missing in Action Tech Biosolutions, Port and Biopharma, Salseco, Chemical and Technical, Service Events, Calvista, Novus, uh, Q3 Analytical. Okay. Ah, this is the um, camouflage building I told you about. It's uh, it's like a science center for. Ooh, let's try it in here. It's like a science center for smaller, smaller offices. You know, you might be looking at something that's actually got like dodgy viruses in there, and you you expect it all to all be locked away in really secure places. But you know, you know, mistakes get made and shit shouldn't be happening. Oh my god! Look, it's like labs in there. I am looking at labs. All right, there's equipment there. Look, right, all right there. Wow. Oh, equipment and like centrifuges and oh, folks. That's equipment and lab lab stuff where you uh, put your hands in Oh, there's a there's a police vehicle. Oh he's coming down. Oh he's he's turning. He's turning. Oh oh oh, oh. he's probably like that be it could be the one that we had reported. Get him. Get him, get him. So the camera stopped again in its 10 minutes uh, camera cycle. So uh, basically where we were was very close to where we drove in. So we take a left and we're back on the main road um, where you come into the whole site. So uh, we'll jump to that. It's normally where they get shirty with people, which is why that police officer was going, look, now, now. No unauthorised access. Um, serious Organised Crime Act. Mm. Ooh. Right. So there's a pipeline that looked like it was going across the ground up into the uh, the area just over the back of the hill. Probably a testing testing site, testing facility. Oh yeah, it's a gravel track. You have to walk up there. MOD property. Whee! Well, maybe not today. Because uh, it looks like it's raining a little bit. I'm going to come back here with um, my electric bike. And I'm going to be up there. Like a ferret up a, uh, up a gusset. So, mm. And the red flag flying means that there is activity so don't go up here it's basically off limits and they do that when there's no activity they just they just do it to keep you out 24 7 365 forever because they don't want you but that looks interesting up there they've got antennas and hmm i reckon that's probably where they do some of their uh spray testing and things they aerosolize viruses so they set off like a little bomb and it just goes pew, and then sprays all the chemicals around all right, where else can we go, Em? Well, that's all those uh, bunkers we first saw when we came here. So, I don't know what else is up here now. Special, special um, payloads. Look at those uh, bunkers or water things. It could be for for certain types of chemical, chemical stuff. No one authorized access. This site is regulated by 
military land bylaws. But it, it the sign he pointed me to didn't actually say no photography. He's going, no photography, look, sign, saying it. And he pointed it to me and I went, yeah, but they always say that. And then you read it and it doesn't actually say anything about no photography. So probably bullshitting again. Probably bullshitting. I would not be at all surprised. <coughs> so what I'm going to do now is show you up the hill, which is the bit I want to come to on another day. That bit up there. I reckon that's a test group, it's a testing facility of some description. So and it's quite big, but it's off-site and uh, obviously there's a and they're keeping it away from everything else so I reckon that's uh, that's definitely uh, worth a look to document but you know Porton Down if you want to demystify all this for us so uh, I don't have to come here you know I'm quite easy to get hold of <coughs> if you want to give me a guided tour I'd be more than happy to uh, sing the praises of your security which I haven't seen so far <laughs> you know there's no way anyone's just going to drive a car in and sneak around bits and then maybe climb over a couple of fences and, and get in there is there folks oh no I, I don't think that's going to be happening is it you know a bloke in a car with a dog just driving around having a good old look you know clocking people's registrations and, and everything you know like yeah that, that could never happen in a place like this they'd be they'd be stopped immediately wouldn't they oh yes oh yes well when you think you've got to pay to go and see places like Alton Towers and we've just had a, a great little uh, great little outing there Free of charge. That's amazing. It's a memory I'm not going to forget in a hurry. I think the only thing that could make this better that would be a trip to McDonald's and a cheeseburger for the dog. Yeah. And then the day would be complete, I think. So I don't think the lads are going to believe me when I tell them I've just managed to drive in and around. A large chunk of board down here and be like, you what? I'm like, yeah, just drove around. <laughs> like, no. I'm like, yeah, go and check it out before they before they realise what, what they're doing wrong and, and sort of stop people doing it. Get up there and check it out. But this then becomes the main road and back to uh, back to normality. I think this might be the Salisbury Salisbury Road. That's really the end of the uh, the trip, folks. I mean, see, more more fences. They can lock all this off. This is like, yeah, you know, yeah, Salisbury that way, or that way, sorry, and Stockbridge and Andover that way. A thirty. So that is the end of the video for now. But yes, they test on animals. Uh, they kill pigs, sheep, goats, monkeys, mice. And they do it in quite inhumane ways. Say, for instance, you're a pig. They will shoot you with bullets to find out whether bullets still do the same things bullets did in the 1940s. Yes, they go through things. But they just need to retest bullets every year to make sure that bullets are still doing the same thing bullets did last year. Yep, they do those sorts of tests at this place. And there's been lots of people protesting about it and lots of people saying that it's very dangerous, the work they do here. They're handling the most deadly viruses on the planet. And it's rumoured that they have been engineering the most deadly stuff, dead, more deadly than anything that's ever been out in nature. So the rumour is that if some of this stuff got out into the environment, that all life on the planet would cease in days. And... That's not a good thought, is it? You know, and when you think, well, are these people <laughs> to be trusted? And then we find out that they've actually been testing 
spraying viruses over villages with uh, aeroplanes, with boats offshore, with vehicles driving through the centre of cities, spraying germs into cities to see how many people get ill. This really is the home of Frankenstein science, folks. I hate to say it, I really do, but these people are maniacs that work in these places. They, they don't seem to have the normal sort of perspective on what's right or wrong and what you should or shouldn't do. They seem to think that, you know, in the name of public interest and public good, they should develop these weird chimera viruses, mix this virus with that virus, super super amplify viruses. Um, you know, we hear this now is called gain of function. It's trying to make the biggest, maddest, meatiest, craziest viruses because then they can see whether or not there's a way to fight them. But what if they get out like they did at Wuhan? Because now we all know the Wuhan labs were experimenting, experimenting with gain of function research. It might have been banned in the US, but is it banned in the UK? And you can bet your bottom dollar that all these labs are sharing ideas, sharing samples. They're sharing their ideas for new and novel viruses, new and novel nerve agents, chemical agents. They were even implicated in trying to develop race-specific viruses in the past, and they worked with South Africa, sharing data to create race-specific viruses, i.e. a virus which, which would just attack black people or Asian people. That's the type of work these people do. It's not just not cool. It's about the most uncool thing you could think of. And they're allowed completely, completely secret proce procedures. They're allowed to do their work without much oversight. They can get away with literally murder. And they can test on the public, the British population, without any real recourse. And the only things that will happen to them, as has been proved in the past, is that in maybe 50, 60 years' time, somebody will be able to complain about it. But for right now, they get away with it. So I just wanted to give you a little insight into Port and Down. And it really is quite a scary place. Um, but there you go, folks. Thank you for watching. And the next video is going to be very revealing in relation to this place. We shall see. Thank you very much.